What up guys? One take here. Check it. So I uh, recently, it was a couple weeks ago now, went out to Falls Park and I did some, uh, just some different B-roll shots. Uh, I wanted to test my Fuji X-T4. I wanted to test F-Log versus the HLG picture profiles. So I went out, shot some B-roll, and this is what I came up with. Check it out. All right, here at Falls Park, time to go get some B-roll. Almost forgot. starting this YouTube channel a because I want to get better at using my camera and I want to make as many videos as possible I don't only really want to be making videos when I'm like working for clients I want to be making videos for myself as well so I'm gonna be making more videos for myself where I'm uh, testing different aspects of my camera and that's what I'm doing today is testing that F log versus HLG uh, you know, one thing I think that's going to be important to this channel being successful is going to be me being vulnerable. And I'm just going to get very vulnerable with you right now. I totally, totally was like this close to pee in my pants. I had to stop filming over there by the water, drive over here by the bathroom real quick, uh, and, and handle it before I can move on. But I'm back to filming, so here's more B-roll. All right, we're back in the editor here. I wanted to uh, basically look at these clips uh, side by side, on graded, and let you guys check them out on graded before we went through and started comparing. I did throw a color grade onto the clips, the finalized clips, the side by side comparisons between the F log and the uh, HLG. Um, you know, I had to do something with it. I couldn't just throw contrast and saturation. I could have. Uh, that being said, after doing some more research, after I, I edited this video actually a couple weeks ago and I'm just finally getting around to finishing it. So uh, basically what I found is HLG is not designed to be color graded whatsoever. You're just, you know, supposed to do maybe a few minor adjustments on it to make it right. Otherwise you just get it right in camera and it's supposed to look good basically. So uh, I did throw a color grade on, on all of these clips. But now we're going to start watching uh, the side-by-side -side comparisons of the F-Log versus the HLG. Uh, one thing I noticed was the F-Log was consistently brighter, so I, I needed less ISO to match my exposure. And uh, even looking at these, you know, maybe, maybe my color grade was a little... You know, I just did a better job with the F-Log. Uh, I feel like there's actually some clips, like I like this one. Uh, I kind of like the HLG version of this one better. Um, but I felt like anything with like a lot of shadows like this, where like a lot of the rocks were dark, I just felt like the F-Log picked up the details in the shadows a lot better. This is a good spot to test some dynamic range. I'm in the shade. It's really bright back behind me. Uh, I'm in HLG right now. How's the uh, how are the highlights handling this? Ooh, okay, so right now I'm pretty dark. I would definitely say the highlights are still zebraed out, but I think to expose for myself, overexpose the sky just a little bit, it's probably a little bit better. All right, so now I'm going to switch over to F log, see how that one looks. So it seems like to me, when I'm in F log, it seems like the shadows stay quite a bit brighter compared to the HLG where the shadows get a lot darker. Um, 
So right now my skies are a little bit zebraed out. I'm gonna to try to match what I had going on with the HLG. That's about where I was with the HLG when I kind of adjusted it. Uh, I still feel like this is better for this type of situation for sure. So uh, back in the editor here, uh, just some more side-by-side -side comparisons between the F-Log and the HLG. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you notice uh, a whole lot of difference? Obviously, like I said, the color grades aren't exactly matching, and typically with HLG, you're not really supposed to do much color uh, grading anyways. Uh, for the most part, though, I will say I did, I did do some, you know, manipulating of colors and stuff like that, but I tried to do it in a realistic way. So I was basically trying to get the most contrast out of it that I could and just kind of make things look nice and crispy. So here we're back to the ungraded. Um, you'll just notice the F-Log is a lot flatter straight out of camera. The HLG already has a little bit more contrast kind of baked into the image. And I think that's probably why you get more detail in the shadows. It's a great shot. I love that shot. Just the colors and that that foreground kind of panning up. Uh, one thing I regret going out and actually doing this shoot, uh, I didn't bring a monopod or a tripod or anything like that. Um, and I should have. I was basically doing everything off of just, you know, uh, a uh, little mini handheld tripod. Uh, I wish I would have brought something out so I could have gotten more locked off shots uh, that weren't uh, movement. That being said, I was trying to match my movement. I basically do an F log shot and then I'll do an HLG shot and I'll just try to match the movement. Creeping on an old guy fishing here. Uh, and a snapping turtle. All right. So that's about it for uh, the footage that I got at Falls Park. Uh, I did get some more footage at uh, over by the airport. Uh, it's right out by the studio in T. Um, I got some footage of my kids just kind of watching a plane take off and stuff like that. I'm going to keep this video nice and short and not get into that. Um, what do you guys think about the F-Log versus HLG? Do you guys, if you're watching this, I'm guessing you're not just uh, somebody who is browsing YouTube. You're actually into this stuff and uh, you maybe even own a Fuji X-T3, X-T4, whatever it is uh, that could shoot in this uh, HLG or F-Log picture profile. There are a few fi uh, videos on YouTube that I've seen but not a ton so I wanted to kind of throw my own spin on it and I hope you guys enjoyed. All right, so if you like this video, I'm going to be making more videos like this in the future. Obviously, it's not all going to be F-Log versus HLG, but I am going to be pushing the boundaries of my camera and what I could do with it uh, and basically do, just do some scientific test or non-scientific test uh, is kind of more my strength, I would say. But uh, just do more tests and make some videos based around it. And if that's your kind of thing, then uh, make sure you follow along, check it out. Subscribe to this channel, uh, like this video, all that good stuff that YouTubers like to say, and uh, see you on the next one. Peace.